The Zumwalt class destroyer is one of the most recognizable and impressive warships afloat. Adding the conventional prompt strike CPS hypersonic missile will give it unrivaled firepower. At over 15,000 tons, the Zumwalt class are large by destroyer standards. Although there is plenty of wriggle room on the definitions between destroyer and cruiser, the new weapons move the ships even further away from what is accepted as a destroyer today. Whether they will be redesignated as a cruiser will be seen. Ordered at a time when the US Navy was re-evaluating its needs, and becoming more literal, the Zumwalt class have received a fair amount of criticism. They are certainly expensive, and problems with their advanced gun system have mean that they have not been as well armed as expected. The upgrade will arm them with conventional prompt strike CPS, hypersonic missile. The conventional prompt strike CPS, is a non-nuclear strategic hypersonic weapon system. Its long range, hundreds, possibly thousands of miles, incredible speed, Mach 5 plus, likely much faster, and high agility offer new capabilities to US planners. It will be able to make precision strikes on time-sensitive targets with little chance of interception. The missile will leverage the common hypersonic glide body warhead. There are distinct but closely related weapons which will be carried by the US Navy's surface ships and submarines. And a land-based version will also be fielded by the US Army. Sources suggest that it is still undecided how many CPS missiles will be carried by the Zumwalt class. And whether the existing 155mm gun mounts will be retained. Indications are that two CPS can be carried without affecting the gun mounts, or six to eight if both gun mounts are removed. A Lockheed Martin visualization suggests four missiles and one of the two gun mounts retained. There are interesting parallels to plans to equip warships with large ballistic missiles in the past. In the 1950s the US Navy planned to equip surface vessels with the then-new intercontinental ballistic missiles. The famous nuclear-powered cruiser, USS Long Beach, was designed with this in mind. But the Italians went as far as actually installing the tubes on one of their cruisers. But the three Zumwalts will provide a powerful and more overt capability. Their visually striking form may add to their ability to influence decision-makers. In a return to battleship diplomacy of a century ago, their aesthetics may influence adversaries long before any missiles are thrown. The Zumwalt class will not be alone in having ballistic missiles. The Chinese Navy already has YJ-21 missiles aboard its latest type, 055 Renhai-class cruisers. Specifications of both the American and Chinese missiles remain elusive. Yet some observations can be made. The US missile is larger, in particular in terms of diameter. This means that fewer missiles can be carried by the American ships. The Chinese YJ-21 missile fits inside the Universal VLS, vertical launch system, carried by the Renhai class. It is larger in diameter and length than anything which can be fitted into the American MK.41 or MK.57 VLS. A significant difference is that the YJ-21 is seen primarily as an anti-ship weapon. ASBMs, anti-ship ballistic missiles, have been a focus of the Chinese military, a response to the US Navy's aircraft carrier advantage. But it is possible that the YJ-21 will have some land attack capability. The Zumwalt class destroyer is a class of three United States Navy guided missile destroyers designed as multi-mission stealth ships with a focus on land attack. It is a multi-role class that was designed for secondary roles of surface warfare and anti-aircraft warfare and originally designed with a primary role of naval gunfire support. The class design emerged from the DD-21 land attack destroyer program as DD-X and was intended to take the role of battleships in meeting a congressional mandate for naval fire support. The ship is designed around its two advanced gun systems, their turrets and 920 round magazines, and unique long-range land attack projectile LRLAP, ammunition. Relap procurement was cancelled, rendering the guns unusable, so the Navy repurposed the ships for surface warfare. Starting in 2023 the Navy will remove the AGS from the ships and replace them with hypersonic missiles.